Hello everyone. Let's start this session of surface area and volume. Last time we had seen the different formulas for getting the surface area and volumes. So here in this session, let's tabulate the whole thing together, at least the key ones, so that uh, we have it all in one place. So the so first shape that I have taken is cube. So what would be the lateral surface area of a cube? So off, off a side, off side, so it's something like this. The side of this is edges of length A. So the lateral surface area is 4A squared. The total surface area is 6A squared. And the volume is A cube. Now cuboid having length, breadth and height. So curved surface area, I'm not putting it over here because depending on which side is down, your lateral surface area changes. So what is the total surface area here? It is 2 into LB plus BH plus HL. And the volume is L into B into H. Now the next one is cylinder. So what is the curved surface area of a cylinder? It is 2 pi R H. Total surface area, it is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. That includes the top and the bottom. The volume is pi r squared h. Now next we go on to cone having a radius r, height h and the slant height l. So the curved surface area would be pi r l and the total surface area is pi r l plus pi r squared. Now the volume it is 1 by 3 pi r squared h. Now, now move on to the sphere. The sphere there is no curved surface area or specifically it is the same as the total surface area. So that would be 4 pi r squared and the volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube hemisphere hemisphere the curved surface area is 2 pi r squared the total surface area is 3 pi r squared and the volume is 2 by 3 pi r cube. So I hope you have understood the different formulas and that you need to remember this because this will come in very handy in solving all the problems. So if you have any questions or clarifications that are needed please write to me. I will put a clarification video on that. Bye.